but it, like it took a couple days and I was, wasn't feeling good at all so my mom just took me to the emergency room and they drew my blood and then they just came back and told me that my kidneys were failing and that I was anemic so they didn't like know any of that before so. right. wow did you know um, when was this in April yeah like three weeks ago or yeah so, and you were playing big softball mm -hmm. at doing feeling pretty good and all yeah. Just all of a sudden they just, so they ran a bunch of tests. Yeah. What did they find? Um, they so I did, got a biopsy of my kidney and they found out that I had HUS, which is I forget. It's like humularic. But honestly, one of the first things that popped in my head was like I want to play softball anymore. I have like at least another year at Scottsdale and I still feel like really weak right now. So I just want to be able to like finish my season. Um, basically, I'm getting this medication called Solaris. It's the most expensive drug in the world. I have, like, each dose is about, like, $20,000. And, um, I just got back from my doctor's appointment because I had to get Solaris today. So I just go, and it's an IV, and they just give it to me once a week. Practice have been shorter, but more intense. And I said, you know what I start thinking? I could come out and get, try to give you a motivation speech, and I'm saying, if I have to motivate you to win a state playoff game, something's wrong. And I'm not a great motivational guy anyway. So yeah. I said, we have a little girl, young woman. Mm -hmm. Everyone, you all know Elbow. We call her Elbow, because mm -hmm. LBO, little blonde one, because <laughs> Jeff Griffith couldn't remember her name her freshman year, and it stuck. So we got Elbow out here, and she's out here watching you, and she just got out of the hospital with what's going on with her. And she still has to do a dialysis, and she still has to, and her kidneys still aren't functioning right. That's why she has to do a dialysis. And I said, and, mm -hmm. I, and I'm up here thinking, I'm worried about uh, our freshman going to play good today. And then I said, this is a freaking game. It's that's a game. that's real life. And I said, right. we already won, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I mean? Right. I said, she's not in the hospital today. So that's I'm right. so happy for her that she can come and sit here and feel good enough to come and sit here and watch us. So I said, you know what? We need to win this one for her. And they got, mm -hmm. they got, they all got fired up. Yeah. Seeing Nicole here, who's battling for her life, and is that a, a, a big inspiration for you guys? Yeah, um, my, when my sister played here, her and Nicole were best friends. Um, we were always hanging out with her, with her all the time, and to see her like that, it's kind of, hits a personal um, note, yeah. and to see her out here better around everybody, it just, just makes you happy. Definitely.